What's going on, y'all? This master teach for attraction. And what we're going to be talking about today is a lot of crap I be coming across on the interwebs. I be posting it on my Facebook page so y'all can check out my Facebook page. Um, we're just going to go down the line and I'm, uh, I'm about to pull out all my ammunition and I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you cut through these lies that's all on the internet when it comes to nutrition, okay, when it comes to your weight loss, when it comes to your diet, when it comes to other things, because everything is connected, things like relationship. All the old people that's been on this channel for a long time know I was cooking back in the days. <laughs> so all those things, relationships finances okay as y'all know uh i know what i'm doing pretty much and that's how i'm able to you know operate through entities and business entities okay so all this crap that's on the internet or people don't know what they're talking about we gonna chew them up and we gonna spit them out and i'm gonna give you either my opinion in which i'm gonna say it's my opinion or i'm gonna give you facts which is most of the stuff that come out my mouth, okay? Facts give you results, all right? And as y'all can see, I got this mic, so y'all should be able to hear me very well. So let's start with this point right here. So it says, well, here, this is the post right here. My boy said, <laughs> replace meat with mushrooms, jackfruit, and walnuts. Do you see the absurdity on the bullcrap on these interwebs? Why would you replace meat with mushrooms, jackfruit, and walnuts? This is the type of crap that vegans talk about. There's nothing wrong with eating these things, but you don't eat them to replace meat. Meat is a one of one. You can't remake it. They try to replicate it, but you can't make it. It's something that God made. Okay. We ain't designed to be replacing meat with mushrooms, jackfruit, and walnuts. It just is what it is. The African tribes that you can go look up right now, and if you got the money and a passport, you can go to Africa and look up the Heiser tribe. Not even look up, go meet them. You can go meet them yourself. The um the Maasai. You can go see what they eating. And they've been eating that way for a long time. Even before civilization. Okay? And what they're eating is not mushrooms and jackfruit and walnuts to replace meat. That's a first world problem. So you need to start being aware of first world problems and be concerned about keeping your life simple. Meat is what the human body runs off the best. It has all the vitamins and minerals and specifically Fat soluble vitamins that mushrooms, jackfruit, and walnuts can't really give you. Fat soluble vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E. Some people say there's a vitamin F. One of the main important ones that most people don't get is vitamin K2. Okay, you get K1 from plant sources like kale, plant sources, but K2 is very important. Okay, a lot of people get that from grass fed animals and grass fed dairy. Okay, um, so you see it, I said right here for the love of God, don't ever do this. And we're gonna leave off of that with this stupid ass post. <laughs> Let's see what they were saying in the comments. Few more comments. Okay. So let's see. I'm too anemic for that, which is true. You can get anemic. You can get anemic like that. And you see what I'm saying? Listen to your body and everything. These patch eyed demons out here.
So some people, you know, got common sense. They got common sense to see past this, this bull crap. You got somebody coming on right here. I do mushrooms for me, always have. You know what I'm saying? Put, pushing that propaganda. They pushing that propaganda, man. But, you know, it is what it is. The real ones know. The real ones know. Speaking of vitamins and minerals, when it comes to uh, meat, uh, plants versus animals, I've got a little slide right here. Uh, throughout human history, animal-based foods were the only ones that would have been available year-round. Okay, you can't get your little um, bananas that are hybridized fruits because bananas naturally have seeds. Okay, and they're smaller. So you can't grow these hybridized foods all year-round unless you're, you know, in South America, um, probably Fort Florida. Somewhere like that. Um, so yeah, if the meat if meat didn't provide complete nutrition, humans would not exist, and that's true. And we're gonna get into that word human as we keep going along. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe so y'all can keep learning. Because I'm always gathering information, as you can see, and I put uh, I'm gonna go over it for you guys. And for all the in-depth information in one uh, place, I got a course called The Last Damn Guide to Weight Management, which y'all can tap into that too. Okay, so vitamins, plants versus animals. There are three vitamins that do not exist in plant foods. Vitamin B12, vitamin D3, vitamin K2, just like what I was explaining. When it comes to vitamin D3, that's the animal form that's bioavailable to us okay the vitamin d2 is the plant form that's what herbivores uptake and what's bioavailable to them okay so if you got cows what they uptake and what's healthy to them you know what their body uptakes is the vitamin d2 and for herbivores as well is vitamin k1 Okay, um, for us, we need vitamin K2 and D3, and we get that from eating herbivores. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, so whenever somebody else comes around talking about, just like y'all saw old girl, talking about, oh, I eat mushrooms, and I've been doing that, and I've been doing just fine, then, hey, man, if it works for you, I like it. If you like it, I love it. But me and our subscribers and viewers over here know better than that. And to tell other people, the broad majority, to do something like that. Just because it's working for you, don't mean it makes sense. Okay? This right here is logical, tested, and it's been going on for standing the test of time. Just because you woke up one day and you wanted to replace meat with some mushrooms recently and saying that's working for you that's your business if it works just like i said if you like it i love it <laughs> so here i can blow this up too okay we literally have to consume vitamin b12 from animal sourced foods and y'all notice that's what a plant a lot of plant-based and vegans be missing out on they always taking supplements with b vitamins especially b12 and they take it in injection forms but they don't tell y'all that um it is vital to making our dna rna and blood cells so if you're not getting b12 you're not gonna your metabolism is gonna be very slow okay so when you got a lot of um people who be talking about everybody's metabolism is different no your diet is different y'all eating mcdonald's and all this crap and y'all not eating enough things like meat dairy eggs and your body isn't to make these things dna rna blood cells your body needs to keep making those things because blood cells for instance they don't last through you're not going to have the same cells 
from when you were one year old and seven years down the line. You literally change every seven years. Okay. So, and it's different for each cell, white blood cells. You got uh, skin cells. You got all these different cells. They have different life cycles. Okay. And it's always changing. So you need to keep getting these things. Okay. To give your body the building blocks. Okay, so vitamin B12 deficiency leads to tiredness and weakness, all right? That's what a lot of people be complaining about. Oh, I ain't got no energy. I ain't got no energy. Oh, I wonder why. You always at Starbucks. I wonder why. Last time I heard, Starbucks ain't got vitamin B12, vitamin D3, and vitamin K2, okay? But y'all sure be spending $10, $11 like it's worth something. It can lead to megablastic anemia and devastate the nervous system. So as y'all know, our nervous system is what makes us electrical beings. Um, and a lot of women, especially of the melanated uh, community, always, always talking about how cold and anemic they are. Okay, and then I, one thing I also notice is they don't know how to cook meat. Okay, they always cook like for instance steak. They cook that bad boy all the way through to where it's hard as a tie, and then it's not it's not edible or you don't even want to eat that. See that type of stuff is what made me um, push to veganism and later on fruitarianism. When I was doing it, because I grew up and the meat never tasted good because people was cooking it wrong. Okay. And so it always tasted nasty. I'm not the only one in the melanated community uh, that has gone that route because of that. It always tasted nasty, rubbery, hard to chew, or it always got all these damn seasonings and everything. Um, I don't eat everything with a whole bunch of seeds, and it depends on what it is. I like the natural flavor in front of it. Like, I appreciate that, uh, especially uh, coming out of homelessness at a particular point in time. I'm just thankful to have some food, and uh, I like real food. Uh, I don't like making something taste like something other than what it is with lorries and garlic salt and all these seasonings, man. It's, it's ridiculous to me, but I can see some things like some ribs, um, like something like that, but it's just basic-ass chicken. You got, you know, 10 different seasonings. <laughs> like, you don't need all that, man. But continuing on, uh, uh, women with anemia need to specifically be focused on this type of stuff. People who are deficient in vitamin B12 experience a host of problems. Okay. Uh, I think that's all I clipped right there. I just wanted to show the um these vitamins right here. And then you can see off to the side, we got some smart people. Okay. Get that joint up out the way. I think Chlorella has K2 and B12. You don't want to move on how you think. You want to move on what you know. And that that ain't true. <laughs> uh, I disagree with that statement being a fact. B12 is a microorganism. So y'all always going to hear <laughs> plant-based people saying this. B12 is a microorganism that literally came from the dirt. And what a lot of these vegans do, they literally eat dirt. They eat the dirt. Okay, grow your own food and eat it. If not, source blue, green, algae. Y'all don't need to do all this, man. Think about your ancestors. Was your ancestors really going around eating dirt, talking like this? Come on, we going out to go hunt some dirt. That's how you sound. And then you know she, she, she y'all. If y'all uh on Facebook, she uh she tapped in. So y'all go ahead and I'll follow her. She be saying a lot of little things on her uh, joint, and I be like, oh, snap, okay, okay. So y'all check her out, too. All right. Get up out of here. All 
Okay, so what is this? Let's see what this is, y'all. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Independently checked by fact checkers. I don't give a crap. Woo! This might be AI, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm not sure if this is real. But I wouldn't put it past them. You know. In a world where um there's a lot of media put out to make women go against men and feminism and all this and make men against women. You know what I'm saying? Introducing, you know, creating a problem so you can introduce a solution and being, you know, these robots. You know, that's crazy. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this see what this is right here okay so this says fellas you ain't gotta lose this this is you know i'm gonna just say look good okay i'm so that's a woman saying that um she's saying that this beard gut look good on you now let me go up to the screen in front of the camera exhibit a if uh if the opposite sex says anything with you having a beer gut, you having a hundred, two hundred extra pounds on your body saying that look good, you want to run for the hills. Run from the hills away from that. Because what they're doing is, this is called mind manipulation to get you to do something where you will only be there for them. Okay, and then when they want to drop your ass. You go back out there looking like a fool with this and don't nobody really want that. Okay? Now, y'all ain't never going to hear master, teacher of attraction, going to tell y'all to go get a beer gut. Okay? And that look good. And you that's going to make you feel good. The only way you can get this is being skinny fat, drinking a whole lot of beer and uh, alcohol with spirits in there. Okay, y'all already saw, or you may be new. I got a video on this channel that you might want to check out talking about uh, spirits and alcohol. Okay, that's why when y'all go to Jewel or when you go to your local grocery store, wherever the um the liquor is on that side of the store, you always gonna see wine slash spirits. Okay, slash meaning it's similar to what the, the, the other word is. Okay, y'all better stop playing with me. Y'all better stop playing out here. So, and I'm going I'm to tell you this too. Some girls, they like this stuff. Okay, but 9 times out of 10, they only like this because um that that's what they are. Or... That that's where it just they at. It's just that simple, y'all. <laughs> you know, it ain't me, so it ain't me. But uh, you got some people over here in the comment section. Um, but if just like he's saying, if it ain't healthy, then don't do it. If the people saying they like something that ain't healthy, I don't care who they is. I don't care if it's Alicia Keys saying it. Don't do it. Uh, okay. Go up here. We already got that on the channel. We got that on the channel. Hold on, let me turn this up for y'all. I think this was just something interesting that I posted. But one thing I can say about this is, um, 
God know what he's doing when he's making each organism. Uh, that bird know exactly what to do and know what it's built for and is doing it. But for some reason, humans that are supposed to be smarter can't even figure out what they need to eat in the morning. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we got another good one right here. Let me. Yes, it is. 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 Yes, it
y'all want to take pills so you know somebody you don't like can shoot the club and you and that's just how y'all move i don't understand it i don't think you understand it yourself either so but you can't say you didn't know because i just told you so if you want to stop getting lied to about weight loss nutrition anything about it remember to hit that like button down beneath this video go purchase the course if you want it all in an organized fashion so you ain't got to look all over my channel for the information or if you don't want to do that go ahead and watch another video on my channel and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell